Look who I found, Jake the Man Mitel with SICK. He is a product specialist for President Section, and he's going to give us an idea of what would be exciting for OEMs in the registration mark world. So, Jake, take it away, baby. Absolutely. All right, so what we're showing here today are a few different uh, sensors across our contrast sensing portfolio. We've got uh, everything across the board from the small sensors, KTM here, it's gonna fit anywhere you want it to be in your machine. Get it up real close to that printer, get it up real close to that cutter so you don't have to worry about offsets in your uh, cutting distance. We've actually got this KTM working with uh, our next size up of contrast sensor, we'll call it KTS. This is a specialized version of that sensor that's actually looking at the print quality. So you see the numbers here that we're trying to read. We're gonna see if we're starting to lose ink and uh, print lower quality date codes or uh, barcodes, something else that you might be putting on that sensor. <clears throat> you could catch it really early and make sure that you don't have 400 parts at the end of a line looking at a camera. With this sensor, very low cost, you're gonna catch it right away so that you only have one or two products waste if you run out of ink. We're moving on, we've got again our contrast sensor. We've got a, a, a number display on top of that sensor that's gonna tell you the relative light level that we see right away. Uh, easy for setting up, easy for changeover. All of these sensors also have IO link so you can remotely tap into those sensors and see what's going on in them. Uh, teach them, change some of the parameters. <clears throat> We're moving on into our KTX. This is a very common housing in the industry. This sensor is gonna drop and replace anything else that you're using that's a similar housing. And it's got really robust feedback and uh, sensitivity to uh, fluttering material. If you think about a contrast sensor today, most of them, you gotta be looking at an object right over a roller. <clears throat> we look over a roller because there's less flutter there and we don't worry about losing that signal. This sensor can deal with a flutter up to five millimeters in either direction, so that gives you 10 millimeters of play. So you don't have to be right over the top of a roller. You get that flexibility to mount anywhere in the machine. The last sensor we're showing here is called our PS30. It's a pattern sensor. You notice on this label, there's no eye mark. If we're gonna to talk to marketing people, we wanna get rid of those eye marks. That's an ugly mark that does not have to be there. We can put something on the label that looks much prettier, uh, easier to look at, and easier to catch the customer's uh, eye in, in the uh, grocery store or wherever it is. So the PS30 looks at a, at a picture and it's a line scan camera that gives you that registration mark, easy, high speed, uh, switching output every time you see a label.